Hello. How are you doing tonight? I'm very tired tonight. And in just full disclosure, I should tell you, I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes trying to come up with an important topic or discussion idea or point to argue. I kind of got nothing tonight. I'm just so tired. I... If you watch my recent videos, you know I went to work on Friday, my day off, to do some overtime. It was a lot. It was a lot. I was, I, normal, normal when I go to work, as a senior teacher, normally I just do office stuff. You know, I have a lot of things I gotta do in the office. I gotta write things, I gotta order supplies, I gotta send emails to people and plan things for coming up, coming events. And with the recent business we've had, we had a lot of groups coming in. I might teach three or four classes during a day to just because it's busy. Well, on Friday I came in for overtime because we were very, very busy. So I just had to teach five classes in a row, which is kind of a lot to do in a row. I mean, obviously, I know, I know. When I worked at public schools, that was nothing. I had days where I had to teach six classes in a row, and those classes were 45 minutes long. So it's not like I can't do it, but, you know, being the sixth day of work that week, it was just, uh, it was a lot. I crashed when I got home. Then I went out all night for a party. Then I stayed home on Saturday, but I was still very exhausted. So I didn't really have much time to recover since last week. So today when I went to work, and it was a long day of work today because my boss was out. So I had to do 8.45 to 6.15 p.m. That's eight and a half hours, not counting lunch. And boy... I just really felt drained when I came home. And this is one of those Sundays where you come home and, you know, your whole family's there and they've had a nice day to enjoy to themselves. I saw my daughter finishing her dinner. And all I wanted to do was, I just wanted to watch TV and eat dinner and be quiet. Which is too bad, because, you know, I like spending time with my kids. I like talking to my wife about things. I just didn't have it in me tonight. I just came home and put on an episode of The Incredible Hulk, which I bought for cheap on iTunes a while ago. I have the entire series, not counting the movies. And boy, that show is just really fun to just put on and just... Individual episodes don't really matter that much. The story just sort of keeps rolling. You know, you get you get the, the moments, the changing moments. And the kids, it's funny. I was thinking about this. My kids, you know, have seen enough of that show to recognize it. They know what it is. They know who the Hulk is. My kids also know the Marvel movies. They're a little too young to watch them in theaters, but they know they know who they are. We've we've watched them at home many times on on disc. So they know who the Hulk is. They know what the Hulk looks like in movies. They know what the Hulk looks like on television from the nineteen seventies. They don't really see much of a difference. I mean, obviously, if they could express such an idea I'm sure they would say one is more realistic or one is scarier or whatever but they find both completely compelling you know they watch the Hulk show with me they're interested in what happens they've seen the, mov the movie Hulk they're interested in what happens it doesn't really matter if it's special effects or a guy in green makeup it kind of works for kids and I know before when I before I ever had kids, I was really wondering aloud to anyone who would answer me how I can introduce my son to video games. Because you know when I grew up with video games, obviously they were extremely simple, and in my lifetime they have developed and developed into something far more advanced. And depending on how you feel, more complicated or more obtuse or more just dumb. And I was nervous that I couldn't if I showed him a new game, I couldn't show him an old game. But no, it doesn't work that way. My son plays new Mario games, like the new, the new one on Switch. He plays it a lot. He loves it. But he also loves Super Mario Maker. And when they put out the commercial for the new Super Mario Maker, and I showed it to him, he was very excited. He wanted to play more Super Mario Maker right away. And I, my Wii U is not plugged in, so I couldn't do it. But it's something very nice that I find that my kids, even though they're very young, 
and I was worried that they'd only accept new things, or once they saw the new thing, they wouldn't want to go back to the old things. No. They like new things, they like old things. They don't really discern between the two. They, I think they find appeal in all those things. And that's very reassuring to me as an old person. Anyway, yeah, that's five minutes, and it's, it's already getting late tonight. I want to go to sleep. Um, good night, everybody. I hope I have something more exciting to tell you tomorrow. I love you.